Bim, guess what? It's day 70. 70. It's literally seven days until uh, since Boris said, you have to stay at home, you have to protect the NHS, you have to save lives and all that. And it's like 70 days. I mean, that's, that's a long, long time. So I marked it by going to Cheshire, as you do. Um, initially, I went to a um, fire alarm test at the shop, um, had a look at the shop and thought, how the hell am I going to do social distance, distance distancing? Um, anyway, I couldn't figure it out, so I left, came home, um, got ready and went to um, Cheshire, Cheshire, and Tropshire, higher. Uh, what round about, like about eight kilometres today in incredibly hot temperatures as well. At one point it was back to the just the uh, the button up shirts with no tissue underneath, um, which another person uh, commented on. Uh, oh god, fat bastard. And I'm like, yeah, and he's got a diet. Anyway, other than that, it's been a good day. Um, I came home and I drank lots of beer, hence this slightly weird thing that I'm doing. Um, oh, I went to Morrison's in Newcastle on Lim, or Lime, not Newcastle on the Tang, the other one. Although, obviously, on the Let's Explore video, I refer to it as a white man and all that kind of crap. Because that's what we do. The, the whole point of the Let's Explore videos is they are rubbish. And if they're not rubbish, then I'm not doing them right. Anyway, uh, I digress. Um, I went to Marissa's and there was two queues. One queue uh, basically was the quick shoppers queue, i.e. somebody who's buying less than maybe 10 items or whatever. And um, that was the queue I was in because I was just basically getting stuff for my dindins. Um, and the other queue was the queue for people doing uh, like a weekly shop or a bigger shop or whatever, using a trolley. And they literally had to walk the whole width of the shop and back again down a weird one-way system. Whereas we basically stood like we were at a bus stop, obviously with the two metres gap to make sure that we were all safe. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. And then I went to the, um, try and pay for the stuff that I bought. And yeah, that was complicated. But anyway, I managed to do it using the um, self-scan tills. And um, I got out of the place. Um, you may have already seen the Quorn review that I did. I've got some other bits and pieces as well, including some uh, nice um, baps that are going to be used for another review for some more M&S stuff. Um, and some Melton Mulberry pork pies, which I ate basically just the meat in the middle. I don't really like the pastry. I end up giving the pastry to some rodents, birds, whatever. It's some random place in the middle of the countryside. Um, a lot of driving in the countryside today, and that was... A Bonkers. It was like all the Sunday drivers ever were out there. I did a video, a live stream, which may or may not have got up at the time of me talking to you, but will have got up within 24 hours of me talking to you. Um, and it basically, um, we had a, a Rover car, which was basically holding everyone else up. Um, found a bit of a queue and all that behind it. We couldn't get past it because it was Bendy Rose, middle of the countryside, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I'm like, oh, well, it'll be some old guy who has a silly hat on or a grey hair or whatever. And I'm mumbling and moaning and whinging and moaning and everything. And then at one point, eventually, after about, I think, about 20 minutes, it decides to pull over to the one side and let people through. And I had a look at the driver and the driver was uh, possibly a teenage girl, maybe early 20s, baseball cap on, long hair, and... I was like, whoa, I got that wrong. Because Rob was normally driven by people even older than me. And there's not many of them left, let's be honest. So uh, yeah, that was um, that was interesting. 
And then I got stuck behind every vehicle you can imagine, including tractors, um, horse, carriage, things, uh, and other bits and pieces. But the actual scenery that we drove past was brilliant. And I went to a place as well, which is my possibly my favourite place of all time thus far, of its name. And its name was W O O R E. Whore. Yeah. So look out for the Explore Vidits, uh, visit, uh, look out for the Let's Explore video for that one because that's going to be something special, special. Anyway, uh, I need to uh, end this now because I've just realised I've been talking for nearly six minutes and I haven't got much room on the phone to actually edit videos and put them online. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, if you still are. It's been 70 days, how many of you watched? Comment. Comment on down there and let me know how many you've watched uh, out of the 70. Uh, I don't expect an exact amount, uh, less than three, more than 20, every single one. That's that's near enough. Um, and I will see you all again, all being well, tomorrow. Oh, and if you're wondering why I've only got two buttons done up on my shirt, normally I don't have any buttons done up, but I thought I'd, I'd have all three done up. Well, this is a Wish t-shirt and guess what? The button hole doesn't actually work. It's it's broken. There's a broken button hole. A broken button hole. Who knew you could even have one of them? Hey, just buy stuff off Wish. You'd soon find out. Anyway, take care, look after yourselves, stay safe, and remember, otherwise you have nothing to look back on when you're older. Take care. Be seeing you.